Don't ask me what day it is, okay? Because at this point, <laughs> I gotta vlog when I can. Hey, it's Janae back with another vlog. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning, hey girl, hey. So y'all, I just got back from dinner. Chelsea and I went to Rocksteady. Um, it was dark as, <laughs> super dark in there. Very hard to make content, but I tried to like record my food and take a picture of our dreams, whatever the case. But um, it's like Sunday night, it's late, it's almost midnight. But um, I know I wanted to start a vlog today, but I didn't make an intro earlier because I was like rushing when I got off work um, to come home and get ready. So even though it's the end of the night, I still wanted to get on here and at least make an intro. Because I'll be vlogging without making intros and I got to stop that. But um, yeah, y'all, I'm about a year ready to go to bed though, because like I said, it's late. But I have on this super cute top from... Um, Modern Opulence, I'll link it in the description box. And I wore jeans and just like some nude heels. I think I left them at the door. Um, and I just carried like a nude clutch. I kept it very, very, very basic tonight. Um, but yeah, I'm about to wash my face and get ready for bed. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Hey y'all, so today is, um, <laughs> Today is Tuesday, my goodness. It feels like, for some reason, it feels like so much later in the week, but it's not. Um, I am in the middle of working. Sorry if it's a little dark in here. I have like my main light off and like just an accent lamp on cause y'all. Um, I'm working on one of my social media clients. Um, I'm scheduling her posts and writing like captions and stuff like that. So yeah. Y'all know Tuesdays are like my only days. It's not my only day off from NARS, but um, it's like it's like my first day after working the weekend off from NARS. If that makes sense. Like I work Friday through Monday and then I'm off on Tuesday. So Tuesdays always feel like the weekend to me or something like that. I got bit by a mosquito on my freaking ankle and it itches so bad. So annoying. Um... It's definitely like mosquito season and I'm just like, oh, I hate getting bit by mosquitoes. Um, either way, I am going to try to film today when I get done with this. I really need to do my April favorites, even though May is definitely like on her way out. Well, she's not on her way out. It's only the 17th, but we are definitely like halfway through the month. So there's that. Um. But you know, it is what it is. I'm just keep going. I did get a bunch of stuff from Fenty. That I want to show you guys. Oops. Please hold. <laughs> Some stuff that I recently um, purchased from Fenty. So I'm going to make like a little cute grill, like a mini Fenty haul. Um, and then I will show you guys what I got. Uh, I got that Universal Invisimat. I really want this. This is one of those items I've been wanting for a while. I've been taking it in and out of my Sephora cart for like probably a year now. That's so insane. I was going to get it during the spring savings event that Sephora recently just had, but I never got it. And um, I was talking to my best friend Whitney when I was home and we went to dinner. And I just asked her if she had ever used it because I know she likes Fenty's products. And she said yes. And so I was like, I want to try it. Then I realized that it went viral. <laughs> So I had a hard time finding it, but I did have to order it off of Ulta's website. So I got this from Ulta and then I got the rest of this stuff um, off Fenty's website. So I'll show y'all that in a minute. But I just wanted to pop on here and say, hey, um, I'm going to finish up this grid and then I will um, check back in with y'all to show y'all the Fenty stuff in just a moment. <laughs> hey y'all, so I'm back. Um, I just recorded all the little clips for my um tiktok and reels so now i'm gonna show you guys what i ordered from fancy beauty so a little mini fancy beauty haul so i did pick up a new lip gloss this is the gloss bomb in the shape bussy so i normally use the universal one or i have the gloss bomb cream which is a different formula in honey waffles it looks like this i really really do love this color but um some people have been telling me to try fussy it's a really pretty like pink 
not quite mauve, but pink. And I think this has like somewhat of a shimmery silver glass like finish to it. So we'll see how that goes because I typically only like go for like goals and like more neutral tones in my lip glosses and in my makeup. But this is probably going to be really pretty on. I haven't tried it on yet. I don't want to try it on yet, but got that. I love a Fenty lip gloss, by the way. It's like literally one of my favorites, y'all. Next thing I want to show y'all is an eyeliner. So this is one of Rihanna's new eyeliners. It's like the Wish You Would, because I think most of her liners are like gel or liquid. So this is actually a wooden pencil. It's like super traditional, super old school. But it's in the shade brown. Let's see if you can see it. Hmm. I think you can kind of see it. The color is called In Big Truffle. So I recently started doing um, eyeliner only on my bottom and I use a brown one. Uh, I should probably order this also in black. If it ever comes to Sephora, I think that these are going to drop in Sephora. I'll get a black one. But I've tried with brown first because I'm still learning how to apply it and I just want something really soft. I just wanted something to define my eyes a little bit more in addition to my lashes because I don't wear eyeshadow. And Myla from work, y'all. You know she always putting me on to something new was telling me that eyeliner would work and I usually don't wear eyeliner especially at the top because it kind of irritates me it gives me a headache but um I think wearing it at the bottom is gonna be okay especially if it's just a light really light brown color so got this and then I also got this so the whole point of me even ordering from Fenty was to get this this is the um hold on. Sorry, y'all, I got a phone call, but I was saying I got the um, Invisimat. So I really wanted this. I think I already told y'all this, y'all, in my last clip. But anyway, I really have been wanting this for a while, and I finally got it, so I'm really excited. It's a little compact. I haven't taken the little plastic off the powder yet, but it really is for my T-zone because I get super oily there when I'm wearing makeup and I want to be able to keep this in my bag. I did get the brush that matches it. It's... I don't know how I feel about this brush, y'all. I was reading reviews about it. They were like mixed. Some of them were positive. Some of them were negative. But I was like, you know what? I want to try for myself. And so I did get the little brush. And I, I don't know. It just seems really fragile. But for sure, I know this is going to be lit. So that's this. And then my purchase qualified me for a free mascara. I have been wanting to try Fenty's mascara. Um, I'm such a better than sex snob literally my favorite mascara i only use mascara on the bottom for the most part but i've heard good things about fenty so i got the black one and a little miniature size so that's that that's all i got from fenty now that i've shown y'all my little mini fenty haul i'll probably edit the reel or the tiktok later and i will put it on the screen as i always do um i'm gonna try to fi uh, film my favorites right now my april favorites so i can get that up asap um, I already wrote down my favorites in my content journal, so I'm just gonna like go over it and make sure that's still like in alignment or whatever. And then I'm gonna film it. It ain't like I can't film it, it's literally only 5 13 and I still have like sunlight, so I can get it done really quick. Um, I don't want to like rush through it or nothing like that. I just, you know, I'd be having I'd be kind of pressed for time on my off days, so I just want to make sure I'm like using it. Because I'm not off again until Thursday. And on Thursday, I have like literally two appointments. So I don't know if I have time to like film anything. Like sit down wise. So let me go ahead and get to that. And then I will pop back in here later. <sighs> All right, y'all. So <sighs> I just filmed April favorites. I ain't gonna lie, I don't know if y'all are gonna see that video or not. Because I don't necessarily like it. Like I felt like I rushed through the whole thing. Um, mostly because like I was losing like daylight or whatever and so like the lighting got kind of funky but I'm gonna try to edit it and just see like what it gives um, I don't know I've been super critical about everything lately I need to relax but in other news I'm about to change clothes and um, go get something to eat I don't know if I'm gonna Mm, nah, I think I'm going to keep it really comfortable tonight. I was going to just put on some jeans with this top. But I think it's giving like I want some sweats. You always got to lick me, mama. 
Y'all, Georgia was just choking a minute ago because she likes to drink water super fast and can't handle it, can you? <laughs> oh, baby. Oh. Little mama. Y'all, this dog is Ryan, okay? Like, she is so spoiled. Oh, yeah, y'all. Look at her. <laughs> Spoiled baby. Spoiled. Oh. Good morning, y'all. <laughs> it is Wednesday. It's not Wednesday. It's Thursday. My gosh, girl, get your days of the week in order. It is Thursday. Lord, um, it's like 9.35 a.m. I am on my way to my hair appointment. My hair appointment is at 10.30, but I do want to allow time to stop at um, Starbucks because I want a little breakfast. And then I just want to make sure that I like get there on time, y'all. Um, this is my first time going to this stylist. Her name is Triana. I think that's her name. I think that's how you pronounce it. But yeah, we're coloring my hair. I'm so excited because this little burgundy-ish tint on my hair it's just not it I do not like it <laughs> I do not approve so I'm gonna go ahead and go to Starbucks get my usual almond croissant and um, peach green tea lemonade so yeah I guess today is kind of like a little personal maintenance day because I do also have a lash appointment later this uh, afternoon and I'm trying a new lash tag I'm not going to London just because um, her schedule, I needed an appointment this week and she didn't have anything in her schedule for me. So I'm trying someone that Tiffany from my job recommended. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. And yeah, y'all, I've made it to the salon. <laughs> All right, I'm nervous. Y'all know how like hair appointments go, especially when you've never like dealt with the stylist before. <laughs> Get these bitches I ain't even care about your wishes You know I'm a different girl I come from a different world Okay, y'all, so I'm home for my hair appointment. Georgia wants to play. But listen, I do like my hair, but let's let's just talk for a second. So, hair styles I went to, I never went to her before. My only time ever seeing her was when I did my consultation a couple weeks ago, and I did tell y'all about that in the vlog. Um, I got my hair colored and suppressed, and she also evened out my cut, my hair cut a little bit. I didn't get it cut any shorter. Um, I think I'm going to get it cut shorter like later. But this is the thing. Okay. As y'all know, I've had a lot of issues with like hairstylists here in Atlanta. From just like scheduling issues, professionalism, da da da. So the thing is, I'm definitely going to go back to her because I like the way she does my hair. And I was able to book my next appointment. But I do know that next time I go to her... I will have to make sure my schedule is clear for the entire day, okay? My appointment was at like 10.30, so I went in at like 10.26. She didn't arrive until 11.22. At 12.57 p.m., I was like getting my hair like washed and shampooed. Um, okay, so I know that like I've been to the hair salon before and the stylist like overlap appointments and stuff like that. Like they stack their appointments. So I'm familiar with that situation, but I just for the I can't do it again. Okay. Next time I go to her, I'm not gonna do nothing else for the rest of the day. I missed my lash appointment. Um, I now have to go tomorrow on my break. Um just you know, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I do like my hair. 
I do like the way she did my hair. She did not use too much heat. Like I feel like she did one pass over each section, which I really, really like because she blew it out so well that there was really no need for the flat iron to like be excessive. Um, I am about to go to Ulta because can y'all see these little flyaways? I want to get like a hairspray. That's like good for like flyaways, like something really lightweight. Um, hairspray is also good to like do your edges with, especially when my hair is like straight. Um, so I'm going to go to Ulta now. <sighs> do I want to go to Ulta? I should go now. What time is it? Yeah. It's 531, so I'm going to go to Ulta now. But yeah, y'all, I just... Oof, listen. Getting your hair done is just not, it's just not fun anymore. <laughs> like, at all, okay? Like, oh my God. But, um, let's go to Ulta. So, I hope y'all can hear me because I have this mask on. But, um, I was just watching Andrea Renee and she was talking about Ulta having the beautiful hair event. So, um, I have this brush, I'll show it to y'all, that I picked up because I was really interested in it. It's the um, Tangle Teaser brush and it's pink, so I'll show y'all that. And then now I'm looking for a suitcase. A suitcase? A pillowcase. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I'm back home from Ulta. Georgia was being so good at Ulta, I'm actually kind of shocked, because normally, y'all, she be acting kind of cuckoo in public, but I'm on the floor, what's new? And of course, she thinks it's time to put. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna show y'all what I got from Ulta. Maybe I turn the light on. Okay, so. Mini Ulta haul. <laughs> I was telling y'all in the store about this brush. This is the Tangle Teaser. Can you? Andrea Renee showed this on her channel and I was like, you know what? I've been eyeing this brush. I think I saw Amber Martin post about it one time. Either way, all my faves have raved about this brush. So I was like, it's time for me to catch on. Um, I also got a satin pillowcase. Y'all, <laughs> we're gonna have to relocate. We gotta move, we gotta move. <sighs> okay, Georgia won't let me be great, so we had to move. So this is the brush, let me just show y'all again a better view of it. I'm excited about that. This is the pillowcase. I've been needing a satin pillowcase cause I had one a while ago, but I don't know. And then I got this Kenra medium hole spray. So I wanted something for the flyaways. I asked my friend Destiny a recommendation. Um, she showed me a brand called Sebastian. Um, but I ended up getting the Kenra one because I'm familiar with Kenra's products and I really do like their products. Y'all, I'm sorry. I was swatching eyeliners on the back of my hand. Um, so I got this one. Speaking of eyeliners, I did get another Fenty eyeliner. This is actually one of the um, like gel ones, really smooth. It's called Puppy Eyes. So it's a light gold. I don't know if y'all gonna be able to see. It's this one. Y'all can't see that, but I wanted to try this. I got a gold hair clip to clip my hair. And then this. So. I purchased the Gucci Flora um, when I went to Sephora a couple weeks ago, but I got this size because this size was not available. And then when I went to Ulta, I saw that they had this, so I'm going to take this back <laughs> and I'm going to keep this because I really like the bottle. I'll put a picture of it on the screen because obviously I haven't opened this, but I love the way this bottle looks and I really, really wanted it, but I do like the way it smells. So I'm going to return this keep this luckily I have this is still intact because I literally just bought this like last week or the week before but yeah y'all that is all I bought from Ulta I'll link all that stuff in the description box below um I need to wash my hands I was literally like swatching 
all the eyeliners. I told y'all I've been trying to get into eyeliners for like my bottom lid or whatever. Just because, you know, I don't really wear eyeshadow, but I want to start doing like a pop of color, like doing something to define my eyes a little bit more in addition to the lashes. So I felt like, you know, eyeliner is that girl. But yeah, y'all, that's all I got. Um, I feel like it ain't really nothing else for me to do today. I need to like clean up and get my life together. Um, I don't know what I'm going to eat for dinner. Probably nothing because I had lunch so late. Like I literally had Chick-fil-A like after my hair appointment that took all day. So I don't know. Um, mm -hmm. Well, I do want to say so yesterday not yesterday Tuesday I've tried to film like well I didn't try I actually did it I filmed the um April favorites but I don't think I like the footage I haven't even looked at it yet but even in the moment of filming it I just didn't feel like confident about it so I think I'm gonna skip April for favorites and do a collective haul instead because I've been shopping a lot and I want to show you guys like what I got um and I was saying that I was waiting on one more package to come before I showed you guys like all my new stuff. But it actually ended up coming yesterday. So I'm going to try to film that this weekend, a collective haul instead of April favorites. And I think y'all will appreciate it because I put together our favorites for April, but it was just, I just don't want to throw nothing together and just shove it at y'all. Like that's just not, that's not the vibe. So we just gonna do it the right way. Yeah, let's do it the right way. <laughs> hey y'all, so don't ask me what day it is, okay? Cause at this point, <laughs> I gotta vlog when I can. Um, but it is Tuesday, I'm off today. Um, I need to go to Target, so that's what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna go to the grocery store too. Definitely gonna go to Target first. I need to re-up on some self-care items, a couple of my skincare faves. So let's go do that now. <laughs> It is the next day. It's um, Tuesday night. Is it Tuesday? And was yesterday Monday? I don't even know what I told y'all yesterday was. I know I said we not worried about days. Specifically not in this vlog. Because y'all I just. I vlog when I can at this point. Um, it's nighttime. obviously. It's about 1130 um i am about to go to bed soon i know i have on makeup it's because i filmed earlier um did a collective haul for some of the stuff you see back here i filmed two reels slash tiktoks and i went on instagram live which is something that i plan to do more often soon i just gotta like i guess kind of build up the confidence to do it um i know how to do it obviously like i've have all the ideas and strategy in the world it's just you know a matter of being a little more fearless and a little more courageous when it comes to like showing up online but 
either way y'all um before i go to bed though i wanted to quickly show you guys the items i picked up yesterday from target i want to be more intentional about opening and closing my vlogs because i had gotten a little lazy about it and i was just like cutting stuff off wherever and i would always leave you guys a note but i don't want to do that if i absolutely don't have to one of my subscribers actually called me out she was like girl you just be cutting us off with no warning and i was just like you know what lately i have been kind of just like stopping the vlog and i don't want to do that anymore so really quick i'm gonna come over here um when i first turned the camera on y'all may have heard a familiar voice that was stephanie i've been watching her recent upload um her new vlog i was watching that oh so um while i did my laundry so let me see i can sit this here Y'all tell me why I literally just turned my camera off on myself while I was in the middle of talking. Um, I was saying I just peeped or remembered that my microphone, I almost said microwave, is actually attached to the camera still. So this audio may sound kind of good. We'll see when I edit. I never really use the mic when I'm vlogging. I only use it, use it for like sit down videos. Um, on another note, I showed you guys this earlier in this vlog, I think. I'm mixing up footages. <laughs> um, if it wasn't this vlog, I'm for sure going to show it to you in my collector haul because I filmed it today. But I just noticed that this is actually magnetic. This is the Fenty Invisimat and this is the brush that goes with it. And today it, I just accidentally had them sitting by each other and I'm like, oh, it's magnetic. And it's so crazy because I knew that <laughs> Rihanna's, um, the Fenty Beauty like has some products that were like magnetic, especially like I think that eyeshadows, they're like snap shadows or something, they stick together. Either way, y'all, I think that's so cool. So the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is my new dirty clothes hamper. It's this right here. Um, it was actually on sale for six dollars, and I like it a lot. I wanted a sturdier um hamper. The one that I have now is like a pop-up I got from like Walmart a long time ago one of those ones that like are flat and like a cylinder almost and then it expands child the hamper is broke so that's dead um but this one's really good it's really sturdy it's um metal or whatever or whatever you want to call this material and then it has like the fabric lining in it and that's the kind of hamper I had when I lived back at home in Jacksonville but I left it there and I should have brought it with me but that's the first thing I want to show y'all. I'm going to pull out this bag. Y'all, the main thing I went to Target for was for a hamper and to replenish my Versed Baby Cheeks um, coconut milk. I got a hamper. Baby Cheeks was sold out. But I, of course, ended up picking up a bunch of other stuff. So let's pull out this bag. So I got this little, like, faux plant. Um, I think it's, like, lavender. This is five. This was five dollars. I got this because sometimes in my videos I want like plants or flowers, but I haven't had a lot of um, plants or flowers around me in my apartment lately. Mostly because I just don't get a lot of sunlight in here, and um, having plants has been such a fail. And then like flowers, I always just end up letting them die, and then I let them sit in here for far too long, and it's just not. It's not cute. <laughs> So there's that. I actually had it in my um, video I filmed earlier today and it was super cute. So I'm glad I was able to pick that up. And y'all know I like little sporadic pops of color. So I felt like this was, you know, a little more me versus just a full on green plant. But Target does have some really nice like, um, you know, like faux plants right now for like really, really, really cheap. Like $5 like that one. Um, so I got some new stuff for stuff. Part in the shadows y'all it's literally late at night <laughs> so i finally hopped on the native body wash wave this is lilac and white tea um i usually use dove i'm definitely a dove girl but i wanted to check this out and see you know if it's really as as y'all made it could seem because the tiktok girls every freaking video literally <laughs> native body wash so we're going to give it a try. I will let y'all know what I think. Um, I got a new loofah. 
Now I always buy these and of course I wash them before I actually use them on my body. I need to start using like those exfoliant rags. Um, I think they're like some kind of African something. I can't remember its name but I always say I'm going to get one and I never do. But um, I still use loofahs. Don't come for me. I use loofahs and I use washcloths. This is just what works for me for now but I definitely do want to upgrade to something a little more you know effective <laughs> so there's that um I picked up a new exfoliant this is the raw sugar sugar scrub and I got a watermelon and fresh mint because I really like this fragrance and honestly y'all it smells so sweet kind of like candy but that's kind of like the vibe of like watermelon scented things at least to me so I'm curious to see how these two fragrance profiles are going to add together. I usually try to get like things in the same family. But um, the Native Body Wash, there was a cucumber mint one. I didn't like the smell, but I feel like it probably would have worked really well with this. But we'll see how these two go together because they're very much on opposite ends. But either way, I love a good exfoliant, um, a manual exfoliant in the shower. So I wanted to try this one. Uh, I switched over from Tree Hut and um, I love the Necessaire one. It's actually my favorite one, but y'all don't Necessaire. <laughs> and it's not necessary all the time. Did you catch that joke? <laughs> so I also got this towel. Well, a shower wrap. <laughs> I've always wanted a towel like this, but I never bought one. So I just picked this up. It was like $10, like. You know, I just want a towel that I can put on. This one's really, really lush. I foresee myself throwing this in the dryer before I, um, you know, I put it on after I get out of the shower. I really want a towel dry, uh, warmer, y'all. But I keep saying, like, that'll be, like, in my net space because my bathroom now is just really small. And it's not meant for, like, that. <laughs> um, I got a candle. This is... Coastal Wind and Lavender, and it has the Cracking Wood Wick. So I got this for my um, this room I'm in right now specifically because I really like the smell. And um, I used to use the, um, I think it's Opal House by Target. They're air fresheners, but they've been out for a long time. I think it's like a supply chain situation. So I wanted to switch to something else. I love candles. So I was like, I'll just get this one. I love the color, of course, but I do really love the smell. And lavender is always so like calming. It reminds me of my grandma. And I got this hair clip. I've been into hair clips. I have one in my hair now, but I love this color. Y'all know this popping, popping pink, this popping, popping orchid. Um, just throw some color in my hair, especially because it's so dark. You know, I feel like it will play up well with, you know, some of the new stuff that I got for like my summer wardrobe, definitely something that'll go well with like orange and I plan on wearing a lot of orange and all the things y'all. So I just grabbed that. Um, now this stuff I got for my nephew. So excited that I can say that now. Um, these were, these were like randomly placed on the shelf where I was looking last night and I was just like, oh my God, I can't leave these. And so I picked those up for him along with the matching little plush teddy and these little t-shirts. Now, these are newborn t-shirts and I got newborn just because that was the only size available in the little footies. He is due in like late August, so it'll still be hot, especially in Florida. But I feel like he can get some wears out of these even if like they're just in the house or whatever, um, in case it's like, cold at some point because I mean it is going to be fall and got to get some fall clothes for him too but I feel like this is good for newborn you know his first little his first little months of life um with the little footies in the house and like his little plush so I sent these to my sister well I sent her a picture of them and she ended up buying some similar stuff too and she was like not us both shopping at Target but I'm just really excited to buy things for him I had ordered him some stuff from H&M um, and then also I went to Baby Gap and looked around when I went to the mall a couple of weeks ago. But I think that I'm going to wait until he kind of gets here and gets a little bit older to just kind of like see what to buy him when it comes to things that are, cost a little bit more. Um, just because, you know, babies grow so fast and, you know, they're so little at first. And, you know, you don't want to overwhelm them with like fabrics and textures and clothes. But 
definitely excited to shop for him for the rest of his life trust me but yeah y'all that's all i picked up from Tari. i feel like i had multiple hauls in this video maybe like three or four i think i did if if i'm if i'm thinking properly because i don't even remember what i filmed but i think i did the fenty beauty haul from the stuff that i bought the ulta haul from the other day and then this little target haul so just three i guess but yeah y'all i'm gonna put this stuff up um did i mention why i was up so late i don't know if i said this or not but i am in the middle of doing laundry and this year's challenge i said this vlogs and vlogs ago i'm gonna put my clothes up when they come out of the dryer i'm tired of like letting my stuff sit for days upon days it never gets put up when i do it that way so i'm just challenging myself to just um put my clothes up so i have everything put away there's one load in the washer once that's done i'm gonna put it in the dryer and i'm gonna go to bed because i'll put it up tomorrow i promise i will put it up tomorrow but it's just that i don't want it to sit in the washing machine and sour um then i have to wash it again but as long as i know it's in the dryer overnight I'm fine with that so that's what I'm gonna do um, it's probably about 13 minutes left on the dryer cycle so as soon as that's done I mean on the washing cycle so as soon as that's done I'm gonna put that stuff in the dryer um, and carry myself to bed like right now I'm gonna um, go wash my face and stuff before I, just, I took a shower like earlier I'm always talking about showers <laughs> I took a shower earlier um, Hold on, let me run, let me run my day by y'all real quick because I did not vlog all day and that's just because today I was like I'm off. This is one of my only off days. Let me get some stuff done. So the first thing I did today, of course, I got up, did my things, whatever. I went to get my nails done today. I didn't take y'all with me because they literally look how they always look. The only thing that's different is that they are a little bit longer than usual, like a smidge. And I changed the color of my acrylic. So I used to get like a pinker shade, but now I get this. Um... It's more like white marshmallow base. This is called Rose Nude or Nude Rose, one or the other. So I got my nails and toes done. Came back home. I had a call for work. I tell y'all, I still do have social media clients. So I had that call for about an hour, hour, 15 minutes. And then I started cleaning up, um, just kind of tidying up. Because one thing about it, because I literally work almost every day, like I don't have consecutive off days like I used to. So I really gotta like squeeze a lot into my off days and sometimes it can be like very overwhelming so um today was one of those days where i was able to kind of clean up a little bit so i spent like an hour doing that doing laundry um just kind of reorganizing my space in my room because y'all know this is my creative space so i did that and then i filmed oh i got ready to film annoyed myself because i was going to wear this like really cute orange dress for the video and i waste makeup on it so i had to change clothes it just took i feel like it took me forever to film and i almost gave up but i didn't um filmed the collective haul filmed some other stuff went live and then got back oh i had a facetime call with my girl coco for a little while and then i um Went to get something to eat and came home, watched the vlog, watched Stephanie's vlog and did laundry. So that's all I've been doing. Um, and I feel like I got a lot done. Now it's time to edit, of course. Um, there was a... I feel like I'm talking a lot. I'm so sorry. If y'all have made it this far and you're still listening to me, shout out to you. Um, I was going to edit a vlog tonight, but it's too late at this point. I'm going to start it tomorrow while I'm at work and just try to get it up on Thursday. So that'll be fine. But I am going to edit the TikTok and Reels tonight just because that's something I can do from my phone in bed. I don't have to like be super attentive for that. But yeah, y'all, that's it. So that is literally it. Um, Yeah, like I said, I wanted to come over here and do proper outro because I've been slacking on that lately. And I am not a fan of that, especially because somebody called me out. <laughs> um, But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you in my next video or vlog or whatever it is. But make sure y'all follow me on Instagram because I'm going <laughs> to... I cracked myself up. I'm going to try to start using it more. But no, I am going to try to start using it more. Especially my stories and my um, Instagram live. I'm not 100% sure about the feed. I post when I post on the feed. But for sure, I'm going to you know continue to post on my stories and go live more often okay so i hope y'all have a blessed week 
a blessed day whenever you're watching this. And again, I'll see y'all later.